What is up, Twitch? We are back in Kyoto, Japan here at Bit Summit 3. I'm Adam Koble. This is Alvin of Dot Warrior Games, and we are here to talk about Dot Matrix Hero. Thanks for coming and hanging out. Yeah, thanks for having me. Uh, so, tell me about your game. Tell me about Dot Matrix Hero. Um, you, you asked me before the stream to guess what it was about, and I could not, or chose not to, so why don't you tell me? So, it's a... Uh, Part game dev simulator, part uh, roguelike uh, dungeon crawling game. So think game dev story meets Binding of Isaac. That's that's exactly what I was gonna guess. Yeah, that's totally. I would have guessed that. I, I was not gonna guess that. So, all right. So it's it's both of those, and is it those at the same time, or are there phases? Do you go back and forth between the two? Uh, yeah, it's really related. I mean, should I just say what the game is about? I guess. I mean, just uh, so it's uh, so you're this bedroom indie dev. Sounds familiar to a lot of indie devs, I guess. Uh, developing this like kind of retro, old school, like RPG style type of game. Of course, it's still in development, and, like really, really buggy. And then uh, at night, he goes to sleep, and then at night, it kind of comes to life, and you play as his uh, main character of this uh, unfinished like RPG game. And he's like, "Man, my world, it's like it's not finished. Like, what is this crap?" So he's uh, trying to help out the dev, like defeat all these like bugs and stuff like that. But the bugs are like spawning monsters at him and stuff. And as he defeats the bugs. Developers are able to, uh, you know, develop more features into the game. Like, oh, bow and arrow has been implemented, and so next time you do a run, it'll actually like pop up in the uh, in the dungeon. You know, that's it's so good and so meta. I love it. So, so uh, a game developer having nightmares about their unfinished game. Is there is there an element of autobiography in this game? I tried to make the main character look not like me as much as possible. So, oh, that's left to be unsaid but <laughs> yeah yeah well do you want to take a look let's let's have a look at her yeah so basically I mean you start the game off and you know of course it's the main character's apartment uh, of course sometime I would like to have like a choice between male and female like it's like you know it's kind of like your avatar type of person no uh, so okay you start the game you know wake up like this is how every indie dev wakes up by the way you know just, just wake waking up with your sunglasses on your head looking confused and two-dimensional so, uh, so you're just dev working on this game, so you can start. And thing is, you have access to all these uh, develop what's called developer actions, I guess. Like, say for example, debug the game or add in a new library. I'm mainly a programmer, so I guess it's very programmer oriented, but a bit more streamlined. So, I picked the ones here for us that have the most interesting animations. Like, oh, take a bath. You know, I don't know if you can read the descriptions; they're a little, they're a little silly. But you know, like, oh, make a meal or something, or uh, you know, say like watch movie, do some research, and it's all based on. Uh, your stamina, I guess. Like, say for example, you have a high amount of stamina, you have a higher chance of these succeeding. And uh, so, you know, let's let's try some of these. Like, you know, it'll go. Like I know, I know that in my life, I usually only have a 45% chance to successfully bathe myself on any given day. Yeah. So, and so uh, you're trying to hit milestones in the game. You know, for example, like oh, alpha version or early access, whatever. And that you know, as you rank up, uh, new features will be added, new stages, and you know, items, things like that. That's kind of the progression system wrapped up in a very fancy meta UI type of thing but see but these milestones though you know got like alpha like beta but I'm like making up all these like ridiculous ones like pre pre alpha or, like super beta and you're just like what the heck is this game ever gonna get like finished or whatever right it's entered ultimate gamma yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah okay yeah, like <laughs> and so if you fail them also you get like things like uh, uh, you get buffs or debuffs depending on how well it did like say unoptimized dead pixels but anyone who's played like any normal RPG it's like you know poison or s paralyzed or whatever but you know kind of going with that but anyway so you do those and uh, so you can also customize your loadout you got things like you know anyone who's any played any roguelike game it's you know you pick up items get stronger and so forth and then uh, so we go and kind of compile the game over here a little bit you know we start it and then uh, okay let's go but you know it's crazy whatever and it still you know glitches out and all of a sudden you play as the uh, main character this uh, RPG in this world kind of like you know if Tron took place in Dragon Quest Essentially, that's what it is. Yeah. 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 I noticed. I noticed that. So the the very like there was the little flash of the Dragon Quest window and the character's little walking animation. So uh, yeah, it's kind of a twin stick shooter type of game. Uh, you uh, move with the left stick, uh, attack with the right stick. Uh, you can attack in three different directions, uh, and you can also dodge roll. Stolen from Nuclear Throne. What up, guys? If you're watching this, probably not. <laughs> uh, and so yeah, you're trying to defeat these bugs that like you know are spawning monsters at you and stuff like that. And uh, yeah. So I was gonna say the the animation and the the isometric view uh, reminds me a little bit of like Bastion, uh, in the way that it's kind of laid out. So this is all uh, programmatically generated. It's all random every time you play. Yeah. 
Um, and so there's going to be things like shops. Like we're still only maybe 20 percent, you know, in develop. We only started this full time about uh, two to three months ago or so. Yeah. Yeah. Yeah, because the game was it was even just like announced very recently, right? Yeah. Uh, it was kind of cool. I mean, we announced it on um, Igarashi's Bloodstain Twitch thingy or things like that. Yeah. Yeah. That's right. So is the plan then to get it to a certain stage of development and then do a Kickstarter program for it, or are you just going to release uh, it I mean, like like in the olden days? I mean, even then, uh, like when I was streaming, I was like, hey, sorry guys that I'm not Iga. So, yeah, sorry. <laughs> so I don't know. Uh, I guess I'm going the more classic route, I guess. I'm not really famous or anything like that. It's just, you know. Uh, well, I'm, oh, I'm also American, but uh, I work with uh, Japanese artists on this. They're the ones doing all the art on this as well, and they have an art studio, and... Yeah, so I didn't answer the question at all, did it? But anyway. No, I mean, you did, you did, right? Because, I mean, that's that's the thing. I've been talking to a lot of, oh, good work. You just killed that boss. Um, yeah, I've, I've been asking a lot of people about that, about, like, Kickstarter and about the way that their games get funded. Because, obviously, I think it's a thing that's on a lot of people's minds here. So it's it's cool to see, you know, that there are other options. It doesn't have to just be, like, make game, kickstart game, attempt to succeed. So if... If people want to learn more about Dot Matrix here, they want to follow you. Uh, yeah. Where can they do that? It's just that uh, at Dot Warrior Games. Uh, basically, that's that's about. We don't have a website, and yeah, I kind of messed up on the press release, so we're not on the Bitsumo website either, which happens when you're the programmer, marketer, and designer all at the same time. So, so what it's like being an indie? You have to do everything your goddamn self, and no one will help you, but you get to make whatever games you want to make. So it's the trade-off. Cool. Well, thanks for coming. Dot Matrix here looks really cool. Yeah, uh, probably releasing sometime next year. Hopefully, uh, we're aiming for you know PC, PS4, uh, Xbox, like console. You know, typical. Nice, nice, cool. Well, thanks for coming. Yeah.